I'm Dr. Michael Cheesum from Brigham and Women's Hospital and uh, chair of the first committee. And I'm here with Dr. Wa Guy Weigold from the MedStar uh, Heart Institute. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, so at SCCT 2013, we're hearing a lot about new uh, technologies, both hardware and software, uh, particularly iterative reconstruction as an advancement uh, you know, on uh, filter back projection. Can you talk to us about image quality and the potential for post-processing to improve our image quality? Yeah, certainly. So um, there's been a lot of talk lately about iterative reconstruction and new methods and, and ways to uh, reprocess uh, the images that we get from um, our acquisitions. And I, I think there's a lot of um, excitement about especially the latest generations of iterative reconstruction, um, iterative model-based reconstruction, for example. Um, we use one of the prototypes um, from Philips at our institution. and. Uh, what we're seeing is a dramatic reductions in noise. Uh, the technology appears to have the ability to almost completely eliminate noise from the images altogether. Uh, and I know you use a lot of uh, CT for structural heart disease uh, at your institution, and you've shown that uh, uh, CT scans prior to repeat sternotomy can improve uh, outcomes, particularly bleeding rates and complications from that end. How do you see CT being used outside of coronary arteries? Well, I, I think that... Um, you know, we've gotten so good at imaging the coronary arteries, the coronary CT angiography, uh, that that field is probably at its plateau. And at the meeting this year, we're seeing a lot of great examples of how the technology is moving, just like you say, beyond the coronary arteries, into the structural realm, and into the physiology realm. Um, a lot of interest uh, ongoing and continuing in, in uh, myocardial perfusion, we see a few different ways in which we're um, evaluating physiology, whether it be CTFFR um, or uh, CT perfusion um, or combined uh, hybrid imaging. Um, and I think we're going to continue to see more and more of that going forward. I do also think that um, there's a challenge a little bit to the industry uh, because the actual technology and hardware is going to need, I think, to reach a new level for us to be able to do things like this on a, on a really consistent, reliable basis. And the analogy that I, I would make would be um, trying to do coronary imaging with four slice CT. And it wasn't really until we got to 16 and 64 that we really had that technological breakthrough that allowed us to do coronary imaging just reliably and consistently. And I think the same thing is kind of happening right now with, with perfusion imaging. And we're kind of on a cusp where I think pretty soon we're going to start to see uh, big changes that are really going to be the breakthrough that allow us to do um, uh, myocardial perfusion imaging with CT on a reliable basis. Certainly hard to keep up with all the advancements. Uh, SCCT certainly helping us get there. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. We Guy Weigold for being with us today. For this and more videos, please check us out at youtube.com slash first in imaging. Thanks, Dr. Weigold. Thank you.